China opened its doors to the world for the Olympics. While most eyes were on the athletes, behind the scenes it was all about image, control, and doping. Next on Global Pulse. Today on Global Pulse, we look at how news outlets around the world covered the Beijing Games. The international media was promised hands-off at the Summer Games. The BBC found that promise broken quickly. But as CCTV reported, China offered consolation in the form of a high-tech media center. But basic function of the BIMC is to help the overseas journalists have better access to report during the games. We're trying to provide journalists with good working conditions, and we hope the hospitality and sincerity will give them a positive influence in their coverage of China. Amid China's Olympic fanfare, there was a promise from Beijing to give the media the same freedom to report as in any other Olympic Games. But the exact details of that promise are now shrouded with confusion. Journalists are accusing China of breaking its word and have asked the International Olympic Committee to investigate censorship of the Internet. A search for Tiananmen Square, around where troops killed student protesters in 1989, runs into trouble eventually human rights groups, and others as well. In fact, there are some problems with a lot of websites themselves that make them difficult to view in China. China faced even more pointed questions after what a Deutsche Welle TV hidden camera exposed in a Beijing hotel. We carefully arranged some documents on the desk to find out if our journalistic research was being monitored. The hotel personnel doesn't seem to be focused on cleaning our room. It's rather unusual for cleaning crews in China to know how to read German. China and Olympic officials tried to twist the media spotlight on another big challenge, sports doping. France's TV5 saw ego behind Beijing's unprecedented testing program. CCTV bought into Beijing's spin all the way. Four and a half thousand tests will be conducted. That's 900 more than at the last Olympics. The IOC has announced that athletes may be required to take several tests each day. China does not want to lose face. If there is a doping scandal in Beijing, it will give the country a bad reputation. Last year, a scandal hit a school athletics program. Twelve weightlifters were suspended for two years. China's anti-doping crackdown lost some of its media punch after Deutsche Welle TV exposed Beijing's double standard, do as we say and not as we do. Few, if any other countries, have had more athletes caught doping over the past 15 years than China. But were these individual indiscretions or evidence of systematic abuse? Wang Xiaomin won a silver medal in the breaststroke in 1988. Now she's willing to talk. Her coaches began dosing her with dangerous substances when she was a child. The masculine traits started coming out more and more. When there were problems, I had to report them to my coach at once. Today, Huan Xiaomin says it's a crime to dope children. She left China and is now a swimming coach in South Korea. Today, if a Chinese athlete were to say China practices doping, there could be trouble. The athlete might get thrown into prison or even killed. China's attempt to control its media image extended from the man on the street to the perfect smiles on volunteers' faces, as Al Jazeera reported. Olympic officials are already encouraging Beijing locals not to discuss politics or money with visiting guests. And as the eyes of the world focus on the athletes at the Games, the locals tending to them are expected to look the part. The minimum requirement for each candidate is that they're tall and slim with long legs. And the essential asset, the ability to keep a steady smile. For Global Pulse, I'm Erin Coker. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only US network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.